Good morning everybody, Alicia Dijong here and welcome to today's Facebook Live here on my business page and welcome if you are watching this on a Facebook watch party also. So today I want to talk about building your business offline versus building it 100% online or maybe even a bit of both, okay? Now there's some pros and cons with all of this. Initially, when we come into network marketing, typically our companies teach us to build offline. They teach us to go and, um, sorry, I've just had a memory thought then, but um, they teach us to, you know, like write the list of 100 people, go and talk to people, go and share the opportunity. Uh, you know what I'm talking about, I'm sure you do, right? So offline is really belly to belly. And, my personal opinion, this is my own personal opinion, is that it really comes down to you. What type of person are you? So there's people out there who love building offline. They love going to hairdressers and getting their nails done and meeting new people, changing hairdressers, changing uh, nail salons, getting massages, um, depending on your niche, right? I am talking a little bit more health here, but People, there's people out there that love doing that kind of thing. There's people that love building offline and doing sip and samples, inviting them to their pay, to their um, house and doing home parties. There's people out there who just love doing like a booth, maybe at a, a wedding expo or an event. So it's really up to you here when it comes to offline. But what I notice, and I've been doing this for a while myself, as you know, is I typically build 100% online. Uh, yes, I am very confident in the company and my products that I do promote for my network marketing company. So I actually have no hesitation about speaking it with my friends and my family and uh, people who I meet. I enrolled someone at a roller skating rink just two weeks ago so i have no hesitations about that but that comes back to your own confidence but if you uh typically just want to build online well first of all bit of let's just build the bridge here online versus offline when you're offline you need to be a hundred the key to being offline is you need to be a hundred percent um, into your products, into your company and have full confidence. It also helps if you're actually a product of the product because people are physically seeing you. And if you're kind of like, if you're into the health and wellness space and say you're promoting like say sport products and you're not really sporty, then it kind of, there's a disconnect, right? So you need to be a product of the product offline when you're promoting or you know you're connecting offline it really does help and it will also help for you to be able to talk about your business more freely so when it comes to online it is quite easy and i see this a lot people hide behind their computers they um post up photos that really isn't them or they do some photoshopping and or they're just promoting other people's stories a lot so it's really easy to hide and to hide what really what you're about. So we need to remember whether online or offline that this is a relationship game, okay? We need to build relationships with people and you need to have core values. Again, online or offline, you need to have core values and you need to be uniquely you. You need to um, express this out into the online world and that's why facebook lives are really great to be able to do or leverage video because people can get to see you and what you're about and what your values are and this is why i think it's important to do a personal profile and a business page because your personal profile is where you can actually really show your unique self what it is you do each day, you know, your dog, like I go to the beach, I show photos of my dog, I show my lifestyle, I show my kids, I show what I do because that's uniquely me. That is me and that is what I do each and every day. Whereas your business page is where we can just talk purely business and that's when you can attract people to you purely business related and people who are already in like say a network marketing uh, arena maybe they're in other companies but they can tap into your trainings and uniquely you for your business against your personal life okay and that is one of the biggest differences distinguished differences I believe 
that you should be doing online. If you're building your business on your personal profile, you're literally wasting your time because you've got no leverage and um, you just have no leverage, okay? You need to be doing it on your business page, decipher the two or separate the two, but you can link the two at the same time, okay? So um, where am I up to? So do, 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 do. when you are building your uh, network marketing business online, you need to really be diving in a lot harder to your target market against when you're offline. So when you're offline, it's so much easier to be able to um, read people and you probably already know them or if you haven't, you've just met them. You can kind of tell and it's easy just to ask conversation or questions because you're having a general conversation, which is really easy to do. But online, you need to really know your target market a lot better and you really need to dive into this. What else you need to do is if you're not a product of your products, then you need to be. And you also really need to understand really what are the pains and the problems that your products solve, okay? So I always suggest one, pick one predominant product that your company you know, has, and really hone in. How does that particular product really help people? And dive in, hi there, thanks for joining me, and dive into the pains and the problems that that product solves, okay? So when we're online, therefore we need to then really know who our market is. Who is it we wanna to speak to? Who is it that these products actually help? Uh, who is it I want to attract to me, okay? So, um, Pains, problems, eyes, what do they do? And oh yes, so when it comes to, so I'm reading my notes here, when it comes to really knowing that market, especially this online market, this is where we need to understand. So in the offline world, we know where they hang out. You know, they may, if you're after, you know, like I shouldn't say after, but if you're part of your target market is mums. Well, we know where they hang out. They hang out in parks, they hang out in coffee shops, they hang out, um, at creches, they hang out at schools, they hang out um, maybe doing some exercise, maybe at a CrossFit box or somewhere. So we know where they hang out, okay? It's not hard to go and find mums, especially when you have little kids, it's really easy. But when it's online, we need to go and find people. Where do our target market hang out? So we need to understand what is it they do online? Get into their psyche, what is it they do? What pages do they like? Uh, are they on Pinterest, Instagram? And if they're on Instagram, what uh, hashtags are they tagging? Uh, what are they talking about? What is it they like to engage in? Now that's a key. What is it they like to engage in? And yeah, where do they hang out? Like, um, you know, like what magazines do they buy? What interests do they have? Okay, what are they thinking? What are they feeling? And this is all about your target market. And when you really begin to know this and can hone in on this in an online space, you will really begin to understand so much more about uh, your products, your solutions, your which is really your products, your market. And when you understand your market, that's when you can begin to create the content, okay? Really, really key. Okay, so to finalize this or to finish this up here today, online versus offline, it's really your choice. Um, if you're a type of person that's really belly to belly, oh, if you wanna know, actually, I'll just backtrack a little bit. Uh, when it comes to really knowing that market and attracting people more to you, I have a great uh, boot camp and it's a 10 day training with a uh, ebook also, which is really worth getting if you are struggling with understanding attraction marketing online, just put the word uh, camp below and I'll get that to you ASAP. And um, hashtag replay too, if you are on this replay. Sorry, I should have said that earlier. So yeah, so really honing in on that and getting people to come to you is like, it's dynamite. Okay, um, so to sum back to summarizing, um, you still need to make friendships online, you still need to be a real person, and you still need to showcase that you are a product of what you do. And you can actually, even in your messaging and your posts, you can still talk with passion, you can still talk with 
uh, conviction in those posts to attract people back to you. It's not hard and it's called like more of a curiosity post. So, um, yeah, so that's pretty much it today. You know, online or offline, it's really your choice what you decide to do. Online is a lot of fun when you get some momentum going. I totally love it. Uh, I typically do build online. Like I've said, I do a lot on uh, Facebook predominantly as a platform, but I know people who are crushing it on Instagram also. Um, but you know, offline, I know people too that just absolutely love their offline and belly to belly and good on them. That's great. And I wish them all the best and I think it's great. But a lot of those people too are online, okay? So whether you're doing maybe 80% offline, 20% online or 50-50 or a little bit of both, like it's really up to you how you decide to build your business because it's really about you. And like I said before, you need to be unique and uniquely you and how you can add value back to your audience and how you choose to do it is really up to you. It's what works for you. It's your business. It's not the company's business. It's your business. Set it up how it's going to work best for you. Okay. So remember, uh, just put in camp below. Hi there. Thanks for joining me. I'm about to finish up. So you will have to watch the replay. Um, put camp below if you want that training. And on the attraction marketing, I'll definitely get that off to you. And like I said, it's a really good ebook. It was actually one of the really big turning points for me personally to understand attraction marketing and how it works online and how you can have that brain switch. It's uh, absolutely dynamite. Okie dokie. Uh, if you're watching on a replay, hashtag replay, let me know where you're from. And also if you're on a watch party too, let me know watch party underneath. I'd love to know that you've made it to the end. And also, if you have made it all the way to the end here, yes, the end, uh, please let me know. Say, I made it to the end, okay? Because I'd like to start measuring who actually makes it to the end. I typically go for 10 minutes. So, yeah, that's it. Remember, camp if you want the training. Put in hashtag replay and let me know you made it to the end and where you saw this video. Okay, bye for now.